Joining pieces together is, um, can be a challenge or part of the design process in itself and it just requires um, a, little bit, a little bit of experimentation really. Uh, a good way of joining things if you don't want to sew anything at all and this works particularly well with um, jersey or t-shirting uh, or you can do it with cotton and shirtings and things as well um, is to knot it. So what I've done is I've actually joined three t-shirt bodies together. I've slashed into the edges by about 10 centimetres I suppose and then I'm just going to tie the corresponding pieces together like that. So I'm just going to start at the top and uh, it's a bit of a granny knot and work my way down the garment. So you have to be prepared for a bit of shrinkage on this one and um, so if you make something that you think was you know, probably going to be the length of a t-shirt, you might find you've actually got a boob tube by the end of it, so be prepared. Um, it is a really, really straightforward way of completing a garment. Another method of joining um, parts of a garment together that doesn't involve any sewing is to use um, things that we already associate with fastenings. It's nice if you can repeat a technique or repeat the use of a material. It creates pattern first of all as well as having a function as well so it's decorative as well as practical. From a, a design point of view it gives it a really sort of individual look and it creates something that is unexpected. Another joining technique is to use eyelets. They give a very finished look to whatever you're doing. It's something that you see in corsetry a lot as well and some of the Victorian dresses in the museum collection have eyelets. These are actually the yoke off of a man's shirt, uh, which is the bit across the back of the neck, across the shoulders. I've cut them out from the back of the shirt and what I'm going to do is attach them to the front of another shirt that I've taken apart and the idea is that I'm going to be able to use them a bit like a corset lacing. So I'm just putting the back of the eyelet on now and then I've got this funny tool I'm going to stick the fat end in there and hit it with a hammer and that will squash the metal eyelet over the rim and hold the whole thing in place. So I'm now going to put those on there and that way I can tie the whole dress up at the back. So I'm going to pin them but I'm going to pin them with the seams on the wrong side. So the seam is going to be on the surface of the garment and we normally call this a deconstructed seam because it means that we can see the construction process that the garment has gone through. I can't stress enough really the importance of working on a stand or a body, playing around with something three-dimensionally, even if it's rough like this, is all sort of quite an inspirational process. You're never going to get it wrong, you can only get it right and then improve on it. So there we go, that's my little corset dress.